Okay, here's the exponent part of the June exam. It says write an exponential form. Well, if you have any idea what exponents are, instead of going 9 times 9 times 9, you can write down 1 9, and that's what the little floor shows, repeated multiplication. So 9 to the 4th is your answer. The next question, there's 3 5's multiplied together, so you go 5 cubed times 3 7 7 cubed. That's your answer. The next question, show why 100 cubed is equal to 1 million. Well, you have to know that the word cubed means you take 100 and you multiply it by itself three times. Well, there you go. That's sh showing you what 100 cubed is. But 100 times 100 times 100, count the zeros, there's six zeros. And you know that six zeros is 1 million. That's a million there. So there you go. There's the first question. I showed why 100 cubed is equal to 1 million. Now this one, a lot of people have trouble. They just can't read this. Use the laws of exponents to simplify. So if you just stick this in your calculator and write 81, you don't get it. You have to use what's called the laws of exponents. The first law says when you multiply two things at the same base, you write down the 3 and you go 2 plus 2. That's a mark for getting 3 to the 4th. Now, any way you can do it any way you like. You can go 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81. You could have used your calculator to write down 81. But if you didn't use the law of exponents, you didn't get any marks. When you divide two things at the same base, you write down the base and you subtract these exponents. So 11 to the 7th, which is some huge number, divided by 11 to the 5th, you go 7 minus 5, it's 11 squared. And 11 times 11, you should know, is 121. Now this question is worth three marks because there's three laws of exponents. Well, maybe two laws here. You go 5 cubed to the second power. When you put an exponent to an exponent, you have to go 3 times 2. So that's your first mark, 5 to the 6th power. Now, just like the last question, it's 5 to the 6th divided by 5 to the 4. 6 minus 4 is 2. It's 5 squared. And 5 squared, you should know, is 25. And the next question says, when you put something to the 0 power, what do you get? Well, anything to the zero power, it doesn't matter what it is, it's equal to 1. And that's um, the, whole, the exponent um, question 4 done.